Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I sure appreciate you stopping by. You got here just in time. We've got a great adventure lined up for this weekend. We are, we got Trudy all loaded up, white lightning rigged out. We're hitting the road to fun and adventure. We're headed north. We're gonna go up across the Red River and pay a visit to Lake Murray State Park. That's a big one. It's gonna take us three days to get it all documented. So let's go see Lake Murray State Park. State Park. We're at Lake Murray State Park. Stone Tower Campground. Check out this site. Yeah, it's kind of not real. Uh, if you got a little hitch in your giddy up, this is going to be a challenge. We got a nice wide concrete pad though. It's a pull through, full connection. So you you know you can't really complain too overly much about that. 50 amp 30 and 50 water and sewer on a pull through and this is site number 17 right here can't this trip i booked in january as soon as, as soon as i could book a campsite here for one specific reason and that is so i could be lakeside with water access so I am lakeside, and there is some, some water access, but it's a very narrow channel of water, and somebody's hogging it with their boat. So there is not any way that I can get bobber into the water, not that I can see anyway. And, and they're certainly not here. I'll, I'll, I'll get over it. It's just irritating. There's somebody up there. But you know, there's there's not that many RVs here. I don't know who it belonged to. I'm gonna finish setting camp, eat some lunch, and then we'll go see some stuff. And I'll, I'll get over not being able to access the water. Murray State Park, it's a very big park. Right now, I've, I've journeyed north. I'm north up the lake, and I'm at Martin's Landing Campground. As you can see they have a, a nice new, what appears to be possibly ADA handicap friendly. Speaking of handicap, they have a lot of handicap sites. Nice ones, like that one. All over. Perfect place for them kiddos to burn off some energy after loading up on all that sugar. All right, let's go find some stuff. Landing has got some really nice waterfront campsites. This one right here, man, you can sit on your porch and just sit there and catfish all night. So far, those are, these are some of the better water access sites that I've I've seen since I've been. Of course, I've got several more camp, camping campgrounds to go. So let's go see some more stuff. 
Lake Murray State Park. Yeah, we've got a whole lot of tent sites. There's actually a big group pavilion down there with beach access as well. Anyway, I just had... <laughs> it happened again! Lake Murray, the park host for Martin's Landing Campground, the park host, tried to deny the handicap access. I told him to send the ranger around and we'd have a conversation. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Lake Murray State Park. We are at the Lake Murray Nature Center. There's actually a tower up there somewhere. This is kind of nice. That's an ADA accessible landing platform. So you can actually bring your boat here. You don't have to drive and it is a drive. So let's go check out the nature center. It's cool. We like cool. So let's go check out a tower. Of course, there's stairs. All right, I have an hour. it up to the base of the tower. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a stone owl or concrete owl. I seem to have it all to myself. Ah, we're talking about the CCC. I thought this looked like a CCC park. After you've seen a lot of them, you, you tend to notice stuff. That's a big fireplace. I saw that on the way in. Mastodon bones. Hooker Tower. So CCC and WPA both worked on the, the tower, worked on the park. So I guess that means they worked on the tower. If they worked on the park, they worked on the tower. If they worked on the tower, they worked on the park. They got that closed off. All right, I don't want to go down there anyway. I want to go up in the tower. Kind of like visiting that tower 
Where was that last tower that I went up? I don't remember the name of that park in Tennessee. Mastodon Head School. So this was supposed to have been a retreat, a private lake house. <laughs> Five stories tall to go to bed. The bedroom, this is the bedroom, I think, anyway. Good breeze blowing there. Ah, interesting. So these are all the structures that are left. The office, the bridge, water tower and pump house. Here's, here's where they are. I'll take a picture of that one. All right. Let's go on over a little bit. Oh, what a view, what a view. But I'd hate to be up here when they had a fire going in the fireplace. All right, so we're gonna head back down. If you're going to Lake Murray State Park and with your RV and you're and, and sitting at camp is, is not your, your favorite thing or your kids are driving you nuts wanting to go do something, well, over here at the lodge, they have got you covered. There's miniature golf, some kind of swimming obstacle course, bouncy jumpy things, kayak boat rentals. I think you can probably even rent personal watercraft down there and then there's the foggy bottom restaurant and the big lodge and there's even a little uh splash pad kind of water park for the kids back over there if you're interested in sleeping on the water at lake murray state park they actually have i think this is probably a private a private vendor, but there's actually floating cabins. That's a that's a floating house out there. But technically, you're not supposed to be here without a parking the the floating cabin parking paths. So I'm not getting out. That's not RVs anyway. So if you're coming out to Lake Murray State Park, you don't have an RV. You don't want to sleep in a tent because it's 100 degrees then they actually have a lot of cabins and not just the ones that float on water. A lot of these were built by the, the CCC when the park was originally developed back in the 30s. Of course, we've got a lot of the CCC structures. And the historic water tower. I think they actually had two Maybe three here. 
All right, let's go see some more stuff. More stuff! Lake Murray State Park. Not sure what this building is. Lake Murray and Oklahoma's other CCC built state parks at Beaver's Bend, Boiling Springs, Osage, Quartz, Robbers, Roman Nose were designed by Herbert Mayer. <laughs> Lake Murray's on the National Register of Historic Places because of the work done by the CCC. I don't know if this is a cabin or... It's, it's locked, whatever it is. It would be a very small place to sleep though. Let's see if we can look inside. Yeah, I think that's like maybe a pump house or something. Doesn't look like a bedroom. All right, getting late in the day. Time to go eat some bratwurst. Cook on the new grill. Well, we'll go see more stuff tomorrow. There is certainly no lack of opportunity to put your boat in the water at Lake Murray. And just about every one of those boat ramps has got a nice fancy courtesy dock. The water is really clear today. There you have it. Let's go see some more stuff. So we're at the Marietta campground. It's where the one of the CCC, remaining CCC buildings can be found. I'm not exactly sure what the intended purpose of this structure was. Ah! Yes, I do. It was a restroom at one point. Talk about an open air restroom. There's a shower. <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the glory days. So I'm at Marietta Landing. When I was uh, doing my research yesterday for Lake Murray State Park, 
I was looking at availability and found that Marietta Landing had quite a bit of availability. And I think that's because it's been under construction, but it's finished now. And look at this fantastic handicap site. Yeah, it backs up to the, the street, but still. How cool is that? All right, let's go see some more stuff. I've made it over. Oh, I'm at Lake Murray State Park. And I'm heading into Buzzard's Roost Campground. Isn't that cool? It's one of the, the CCC constructs. Kind of got the megalithic <laughs> architecture going here. The foundations of these bu buildings will be here long after we're gone. I was just over there, was looking at that, and then I saw this sign right here. And it's, it says further down this road. But this road happens to have a stop sign and a gate. But it looks like there's another building down there. We're gonna go check it out. The Colston Cabin. I don't know if you can rent this or if it's a residence. There wasn't any sign that said keep out. There's an antenna and the air conditioner's going. Very cool. Another CCC structure. This one looks like it's just kind of a, a group dining pavilion. A picnic pavilion. Let's go take a look inside this one. No camping. No camping, but somebody sure can not leave a lot of garbage. Very interesting. All right, let's go see some more stuff. I can't remember what campground I'm in. <laughs> I don't know, but I am at Lake Murray State Park and I am looking at the tower. That's the nature center, and then there's the tower. Let me zoom in on that so you can get a better look. Well, that's where we were yesterday, at the top of that tower. There's also a lot of private marina docks over here. They're gated. So we won't be visiting them. Another boat ramp, courtesy dock. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Lake Murray State Park, adjacent to the original marina, I guess it's the old marina, is the beach, public beach access. Nice new playground structure. And there's your beach. Not really much of a beach per se, but it's definitely a swim area. No alcohol and no pets. Just so you know. All right, let's go see some more stuff. So Lake Murray State Park. I have an interesting perspective of the fishing dock. But what's of note here, now, this park was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. They built more than just buildings. They built some bridges. And we're in one of those right now. It's just an arch. The Romans would have been proud. A little bit of an echo. All right, let's go see the fishing dock. Well, let's let's go check out the fishing dock. All right, we're ready to go check out the fishing pier now. 
see if anybody catching any fish today. Well, there's where we were under the bridge. Morning. Y'all catching anything? One. Uh, One? Uh, a lot of uh, perch. Know, a lot of perch. perch. But we caught one catfish. Yeah. One catfish, one Very perch. Oh, well, we yeah. uh, I've been riding this little thing for a long time. So there you have it. One perch, one catfish. Let's see what's at this other end. Not much. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. Better yet, let's do an inverted run. Let's go see some more stuff. Lake Murray State Park actually has a chapel. I don't think this was constructed by the, the Civilian Conservation Corps. It doesn't really have their style, their, their architectural style. This is more reminiscent of late 60s, early 70s. Uh, and it doesn't really give us a denomination either. Maybe, maybe it's non-denominational. Anyway, I guess you can go to church here, though. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Now, I was not sure about the, con you know, whether or not, I wasn't sure if the chapel was built by the Corps of Civilian Conservation Corps. I don't think it was. But I am certain that the park office, at least part of it, was originally constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps. And I'm not too sure about this segment of it. I think so. But over here, I know this was a CCC construct. And their handicap ramp is in desperate need of some attention. Now on this side, I'm pretty sure this was after the fact. Let's go see some more stuff. Lake Murray State Park has a lot of boat ramps. There's no want for lack of water access with your boat. And here we are at the north boat ramp. And there are actually two, it's a twofer, a two laner. Two laner with two courtesy docks. And over here is a fish cleaning station. Where somebody has blocked the handicap access ramp. Way in only. This is not a fish cleaning station. You've been told. All right, let's go see some more stuff. One of the original buildings constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps here at Lake Murray State Park. Uh, I think this was originally the, the park office, entrance office. It's now currently the home of the Ardmore DEQ office. Don't know what DEQ stands for, unless it's Department of Environmental Quality, as it says on the side of that car. But this, this is a cool little building. That's what we're interested in. 
Looks like they actually had a tree growing up beside the back of the building. There's a great memorial plaque here. You can freeze and read that if you're into it. It's really hard for me to read, so I know it's going to be hard for you to read. But there it is for your pleasure. <laughs> like, isn't that cool? All right, let's go see some more stuff. So got to be quick. I'm down. I've, I've run out of battery. This park is so... Lake Murray State Park is so big. I've already gone through three batteries today. <laughs> All right, so way out in the middle of nowhere is the Lake Murray RC Flying Field. The Lake Country A&A Chartered RC Flying Club comes out here. They don't seem to be flying today, but it is Friday. But in case you've never been on an RC airfield, here we are. It's not much. All right, let's go find some more stuff. Lake Murray State Park has something that I've never seen in any of my RV campgrounds. Any, any state park, national park, anyway, it's a field and trail area. And I presume what that means is, based on what I'm seeing here, you know, there's RV plugs, there's a dump station, so there's, there's places for RVs or horse trailers. There's a barn with stalls, and then behind that is what appears to be dog kennels. So I presume the field and trail area is where you have horse riding and dogs? Dog competitions? Dog hunting competitions? I don't know. If you know, let me know. Post in the comments down there. I'm, I'm curious what exactly happens at the field and trail area. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Good looking channel cat. I think it's a channel cat. It's a cat. Whatever kind. If I felt like cleaning catfish, that would be a good one to eat. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning too. Well, we're done here at Lake Murray. Man, to give you a recap, this is this is an incredible place. There's just it's so vast. And vast is a really good word. Uh, it, it's huge. Uh, it's it's more than more than a destination and it's definitely a waypoint we're not too far off of 35 east if you're traveling north and south and you need a good place to spend the night or two lake murray's lake murray's a good place there's something for everybody here kids will love it if you're a fisherman there's plenty of places to get a hook in the water uh, if you're a boater it's, this is the second clearest lake in the state of Oklahoma. And I found out yesterday that that fish that I caught, I thought it was a bass, but it was, I didn't know. But it's actually a walleye. First one of those I've ever caught. Fortunately, it wasn't really big enough, and I didn't want to feel, I didn't feel like cleaning one fish. But I can attest, there's fish in these here waters. So if it's, if you're looking for a good place to, to take your RV, and explore something different. <laughs> you, 
You can't go wrong at Lake Murray State Park. Literally something for everybody. But if you're coming here, just know a couple, two days is not really enough to, to truly explore this park. There's just, there's a lot of stuff here. All right, I'm rambling now. I'm saying I'm repeating myself. Time to go. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure do appreciate you stopping by and I would be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video and found it to be of value, please click on that thumbs up and share it across your social media. It really means a lot to me and it means a whole lot more to the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you who have been following along, especially those that I'm, uh, <clears throat> Especially those subscribers who I am running into, those followers who I meet when I'm out traveling. Thank you. That is so much, it's such an honor to meet you and to, to be your infotainment source. That's why I do what I do. That's why, that's why I'm here. That's why I get to go out and drink coffee with the lake in the background. How cool is that? Thank you. And for my patrons, You guys rock. All right. Back to Texas. Y'all come back now, you hear?